Hi there, it's Dr. Spencer Nadolsky again, and I'm here to talk about part two of how diabetes and berberine work together. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about how the liver is interacting with uh, diabetes and how it's a problem. Um, if we want to review, we basically talked about how your peripheral tissues, uh, the fat and muscle, um, become insulin resistant and the sugar trucks don't come out when the insulin, the key, turns the uh, ignition. Now there's an interesting way of how your body regulates your blood sugar. Um, when you've eaten, obviously the blood sugar goes up and the insulin comes in and, and tells the sugar trucks to come get your uh, sugar from the blood. And we talked about before about how when that doesn't work, the, the sugar just sits in your blood and the sugar trucks don't work. Well. When you're fasting, there's a, a hormone called glucagon, and what that does is that has that tells your uh, liver to um, start making some sugar or telling your liver to to tell the make the uh, the stored sugar get out into your bloodstream because you still need glucose no matter what your your tissues use it your brain and your red blood cells. So when you've eaten, it's not a problem, but when you haven't eaten and you don't have any source of it, you have to either use your stored uh, sugar, which is in your liver, or um, you need to make it, which your liver is basically a big sugar factory. So I'll show you really quick what happens. So when you eat, the insulin's high, the glucagon turns off, and you store the sugar in your liver. This little sugar factory of the liver turns off. So no sugar, no extra sugar from the liver is going out into the blood. That's how it's supposed to work. So when you, when you don't eat, though, this little factory turns on and you get sugar um, without eating, basically. And this glucagon is secreted from your pancreas. It's from the alpha cells as opposed to the beta cells from your, from your pancreas. In an insulin resistant person, they would eat, the insulin would go up, and we got our little uh, ignition here for the sugar trucks, um, but that doesn't work as well either, so the, the sugar's still sitting in the blood. But also, for some reason, the glucagon doesn't shut off, and that way it turns your, your factory on. It's the, the factory's still on creating sugar and telling that stored sugar to leave into the bloodstream. Now that's obviously a problem because diabetics and insulin resistant people need their blood sugar down. But if their liver is still telling the body, uh, if the liver is still shooting out uh, glucose, sugar, um, your blood sugars are going to be high. So it's not only because your muscles and fat won't take up the sugar, it's also because your, your liver keeps pushing it out. So there are a couple ways to fix this. Is a lot of uh, doctors will, well most doctors should now, use first line metformin um, and that shuts off the liver from pushing out too much glucose. Another one obviously, again, we're biased because we sell this stuff, but berberine also works here. It not only works in your muscles and fat, it also works in the liver to stop pushing uh, the sugar out, making sugar and as well as um, shuttling out the stored sugar. Um, another way of shutting off the, the glucagon pathway is, is something called uh, GLP, which I'll get into next time, but I just wanted to make you aware of it right now. So I hope this makes sense and show you how the liver is involved with diabetes. It's another way of showing how you, not just our muscle and fat can be insulin resistant, but all sorts of tissues like our pancreas and our liver. All right. Thank you.